Hello once again on a Thursday afternoon here at Vallas Pumpkin Patch and Apple Orchard. I'm Vaughn Hammond, uh, the agriculture ma manager here at Vallas with Kyla Schaefer and look at her, she's in her bee suit two weeks in a row. Yeah. Now this week, last week we were walking through the trees and the bees had just got here and there wasn't much activity but we're going to talk about the bees today rather than the flowers and here we are standing amongst uh, two pallets of hives and believe it or not the amazing thing is in each one of those stacks there's approximately 50,000 bees so approximately 200,000 bees there and 200,000 bees right next door we are in the midst of almost a half million bees right here totally amazing so what we have here, if, if you can see, we've got the bees, and today's a very cloudy, cool day, so they're not real active. This is not the type of weather that bees are, are known to be the best pollinators uh, as far as the weather goes, because bees are rather finicky. They like it warm, not windy, um, nice and sunny, and that's when they like to come out and, and do their work. The amazing things about bees are they are pretty productive pollinators once they get out and are working. So bees um, are of the order Hymenoptera. There's 26 insect orders and Hymenoptera is one of those 26. And these are Apis mellifera, which is a scientific name. And anybody, are bees native to North America? The answer is no, they are not native to North America. Honeybees are native to Europe, uh, Africa, Middle East, and those regions of the world. Now, a little off subject, are apple trees native to North America? The answer is no. no. Correct. Yay. Neither the bees nor the apple trees are native to North America. And I don't know if you can see it, but the bees are flying all over. Do you hear them buzzing, Kyla? Yes, I do. I'm glad I wore the suit. Today. You're still even nervous in the suit today. <laughs> You're the smart one here. I'm not so smart. But anyway, we are in the middle. Oh, there we go. There we go. Action. But bees are working nonstop. Bees will work. If we had perfect pollination weather, we'd have this whole orchard pollinated in less than a week. Bees themselves live only, the worker bees only live about five to six weeks as their normal lifespan, whereas the queen bee will live three to five years. Now in that whole five to six weeks that they're alive, that bee will only produce about one twelfth of a teaspoon of honey. Really? One twelfth, so very little. So that pound jar of honey that you get at the store or have at your house, the bees have probably visited over 200,000 plus flowers to make that happen. Wow. So busy as a bee is, is really true. And a bee on a normal foraging day will fly 30 to 40 miles. They travel great, great distances. But again, they're very, very active. So bees are social insects. They answer to a queen. There's very few insects out there that are social insects, termites, bees, ants. So you have in this colony, you have 200,000 bees sitting here or 50,000 in each box. And there's only one queen in each of those boxes. And that queen will lay approximately 2,000 to 2,500 eggs a day for its whole lifespan. And then you have drones, which are the males. So all these bees that you see flying around right now, they're all worker bees, which are all female bees. And then you have your drone bees that are not in there right now. They're off someplace doing their leisurely deal because the drone bee really has no real significant role in the beehive as itself. It's just there for, for procreation and for the Josh is very brave here. 
getting right down there with a live shot. And if you notice, there might be a bee or two that might have some yellow little sacs on their back legs. That's called the pollen sack. And that's where they collect the pollen and move from flower to flower. And they bring that pollen back to the hive, which they use to feed the brood inside there. Go which Josh. again, yeah, go Josh, that's awesome. Whoa. Whoa, man. All right, so anyway, busy as a bee and I could talk a long time about bees but the main thing is these are a very important creature here on the here at the, in the orchard they do us an invaluable service by pollinating the flowers um, i'm not saying that we wouldn't have fruit if these particular bees were here but they certainly make it a lot more successful as far, as far as pollination and crop load here in the orchard so if anybody has any questions you know please feel free to post them uh, we'll try to answer them as we're chatting here for the next minute or so. <clears throat> but we'll have these bees here on the orchard for approximately another week to 10 days, especially since the weather's been kind of dreary these last three or four days. Yeah. Um, How I, they, long will the apples still have their flowers? <clears throat> the flowers on the apples, we still have some that are still just starting to open. So really, um, these flowers will, that we see that are all open right now will probably be here for about a week, depending on... Okay heavy rain or wind and then there's still some buds out there that are still just starting to open and some varieties that have barely started to open so there we go again that's a really good shot of the bees going in and out of the hive right there so it's so so brave so brave <laughs> and you know it's about what's the temperature today in the 60s 70s something maybe not even that 50s inside that hive it stays a constant 90 degrees because the worker bees that are in there are constantly flapping their wings and creating heat. And so those thousands of bees in there are keeping the queen at that 90 degrees optimum temperature for her to create the next brood. Okay. okay? Each box has a queen. Each box has a queen. That's correct. Okay. Each box has a queen. And again, she'll live to be three to five years old. So how many bees do we have? We have this section right here. We have this section here. Another section. We have another here. equal section uh, on another part of the orchard, as well as a third part, and uh, I believe that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Three. Yeah. So we have well over a million, almost two million bees that are brought in here, and the amazing thing is these bees, when this group leaves they will have produced enough honey and enough brood that they'll have to divide them and put another box on there. They'll, they'll have expanded in that much. Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah, so again, if you have any questions or potential topics coming up here for our next Facebook Live that we're going to uh, have next week, uh, please feel to post them on Facebook. Uh, at this point, Kyle, come on in. We're going to introduce Kyle, and he's uh, potentially going to be doing Facebook Live next week. And Kyle is especially brave. He's got a bee. This is Kyle Willis. He is our new orchard manager. Mm -hmm. um, but you can see. <laughs> now, what you'll notice with that particular bee is its abdomen, or its rear end, is very, very dark. That's an indicator of an older bee. So you can see it kind of pulsating there. That's an indicator of an, an older bee. Now, if it was a young bee, it'd be very bright gold and black striping. But this bee is probably on its last leg. That's not why it's being so slow. I'm just a bee whisperer, I guess, or Kyle is. <laughs> but um, this kind of weather, they're not very agitating. So it's, it's hard to get them really mad. Unless, Kyla, if you would like, you can go over there and tap on that and yeah. see what happens. <laughs> no? No, it'd be action-packed, I'll tell you that. Yeah. So anyway, thank you once again for sharing time with us here at Facebook Live. And again, post any questions or comments, and we'll address them next week.